Here we have the Panasonic Lumix G7, which is my main camera that I've been using for about a year. This side camera that you're looking at right now, it is the Sony NEX 5R. I did a review on that around two to three years ago, and I love the camera, but I did upgrade to the Panasonic Lumix G7, and I prefer the Panasonic because I, I can do a lot more. Let me show you real quick. As you can see, I have it rigged up. I even have a little microphone. It has more accessories that I can build off of this. The G7 was $800 when I first bought it last year, and now you can buy under $500. So let's unbox this and show you how it's going to come inside this package and what you're in for, and I'll have a link provided in, in the description down below. If anyone's still using Dividends, there's that big, big booklet in there, and then take this out. It's a small, this is a small little body. That's another thing that I like about this G7 is that it's not huge, more compact. I love that feature. It has 4K, and that's pretty much what you want to do if you want to step into higher quality videos, which I'm not in 4K yet, and by what I mean I'm not in 4K yet is because I'm not rendering or uploading 4K because not everyone has a 4K display to use it and it takes a little bit longer to edit and it's a bigger file but I will get into that later on but I am future ready with these cameras and check out the little lens it's a 14 through 42 millimeter and it's a good piece of glass it comes with it so if you're wondering what kind of kit lens I use on all my cameras I always use the stock ones that come with it this is a 1200 milliamp hour battery that will go in it it lasts kind of okay I mean it's it's a way better than the Sony camera that I have on my side cam. Here's for a little switch for remote controls and stuff like that. And then lastly, we have the charger for the battery. Of course, you have the option to slip this on. I don't ever use it. It's always on a tripod or handheld. I don't wrap it around my shoulder or neck, but if you need it, this is what it's for. And here we have it, the Lumix G7. I love the little dials up here if you go to movie mode. There's custom, there's manual, shutter speed, aperture, program, automatic. Then you got your 4K picture taking timers. Everything's pretty quick. This is more than your point and shoot camera. You do have manual controls like DSLR. We got a viewfinder in there that looks really great. We have a hot shoe here. Put a lot of microphones, accessories, flashes, put even more mounts on top of it. And then your on and off switch. Record button or if you're in movie mode just press this and it'll record you also have a little dial as here so like i said you got a lot of things that you can move and customize and figure out what they do you got more switches you have your locks more program modes i don't ever use the flash but there might be occasions that you're gonna have to use it and you can see there's the left and right stereo microphone so you do get left and right on the side we got this little compartment we can put the remote there's the HDMI output. If you don't have an HDMI, you got the AV out digital, which is why you have this cable, so you can plug it into your computer, or you can connect this to a bigger monitor. A lot of things that you're gonna be able to learn once you watch other people's videos. I do take these off because once I'm recording, you hear that rattling, I do take them off. They are for the straps. When the straps are on, they're not making that noise, but I will take it off. You got a little speaker there when you're playing back music. You click on here to play your movies or pictures, your ISO, the balance, and and more manual and settings and more shortcuts. So, now we open up the flip. Now this is one thing I really like about it. If you don't need to use the screen, just cap it and you'll be able to look through there. Open it up, you got the display. But if I'm facing forward and I wanna do a selfie, then I got the camera displaying towards my face. Maybe I am needing to be in the corner, but I can't be behind the camera, so I can flip the camera display this way towards me, so now I can see it. Just like if I'm gonna be at low levels, I'm recording really low, I got that top view. Because my Sony NEX only flips up towards me, so it's a good selfie camera, but it does not swing out, and that's also a thing that I need. On the bottom, just like every camera, you stick in for the tripod, and the battery compartment, and also your SD card. So we're gonna stick these. I always advise buying extra batteries, even though one of them is pretty good. It'll record around an hour and a half of video, no problem. But that's about it on the outside other than the front where we can take this off. And that's where this is gonna go. So you'll be able to buy lots of lenses for this. And that's it, that's how it goes in. It looks a lot smaller since I don't have this little cap. I like keeping this cap on, so I'm gonna take this off. So far, it looks great, right? When you see these on cameras, they're for protecting light, not having to shine through the glass if there's bright lights from the top or from the bottom. I'm sure there's other reasons for this to be on there, 
but basically it's like a sun visor like you wear in a hat but I also like the look of it. it makes it look a little bit more pro this also folds in there like a normal camera if you like that in case I didn't show that so let's hit the switch to on you're gonna get an excellent display and it's touch screen so you can touch focus and navigate the menu system with touch and it's so responsive one thing I will say about the NEX 5R is that it does lag, it does take a little bit long, it like stutters and the touch screen is not as sensitive or precise. This feels like you're touching a phone screen so you're gonna enjoy it a lot better as well. Okay, I'll cover everything else on another video when I do the full test and the quality and rundown of all the menu stuff that I use. I've been using the Panasonic Lumix G7 for a year now and I absolutely love it. That's why I bought a second camera. The Sony is very nice. I love it as well. But the battery doesn't last long. It does overheat and it only flips up and down and I need the camera to have more accessories. So that's the only reason why I'm getting it replaced with another G7. Not because it sucks, not because it can't perform very well. I love the quality, I would keep it. But it's just the fact that I need these extra accessories and microphone hookups and just a swivel and better lasting battery. I used to be the star of my show. It's just the fact that I'm getting farther away and I need more accessories to work since I'm getting farther away from the camera. If you're up and close, it's gonna sound really good. The G7 is still a bigger camera, but not that much bigger for what it can do. I'm just amazed that it does so well, performs so well. So like I said, I will do another video of test footage of how this records. I, I just completely love it. I took it. I record basically every video that you see me record with is done with this exact camera just pointing. It's already recording this exact segment. So if you like the quality that you're seeing already, this is what you're gonna get out of this. And this is not even 4K, so 4K is even better, obviously. So this is what it looks like from my angle. Clearly, you can see the Panasonic, the same exact one, recording right down here for this one. Since I bought this for $490, I'm going to resell this to somebody who will do great with it. I don't need three cameras, although I would like to have a backup backup, but I also have phones that can record very well with your iPhone. You can do it with your Pixel. These are very great cameras. You can run YouTube shows on your channel with this. If I ever needed a backup, then I can use it. I sell my old to help me pay off my new. I don't want to say wait until I come out with a test footage video because it's such a great camera. You're not going to be disappointed. It takes amazing pictures. I took tons of them at CES last year. Everything that you've seen has always been done here. This is a side cam. I don't hate Sony. still like them. But Panasonic Lumix G7 outdid themselves for the amazing price that you're going to get for this camera. Go check out other people's videos of test footage. I will make mine like I did for my last Sony camera. It's surprising to me that I took so long to make a video about this amazing camera. I've had it for a year and I still recommend this. It's still a hot item. There's one that's replacing with a G85, but that's $900 just for the body. You don't even get a lens. But with that said, don't shy away from testing out another camera. I just want to say that this is my personal preference. From now on, every camera footage is going to be from all the Panasonic. I'm not putting you away because you suck. It's more like, hey, retire. And if anybody wants to run you on a channel, you're more than capable to make them happy. See you guys. Light up.